Hi, um, this video will show you how to generate a software project and uh, I'll start uh, basic coding and, uh, and access the uh, other block that we create and to control the LED on the ZC702 board and here you can see uh, our platform which contains all the hardware information uh, we have to create a forcible package and here we choose uh, we just use the, the default setting and once we have created the forcible package and you can see uh, there are a lot of uh, default driver uh, provided by that links And then we have to create our own application. So we uh, create an application project. And just call it LED. And here we are using the Wasp package we just created. And we will run the software on the processor zero. Um, the Xilinx uh, provide a lot of uh, software template and in this case we only use Hello World and once we create our own application and the tool, the SDK will start to build our code and here it is the hello world in duck that's free so uh, now we uh, we want to uh, write to the certain uh, register of set for controlling the, the block so uh, in case uh, you forgot what where the offset is just go back to the address editor so here is the offset address so so here we can use the Xilinx uh, Xilinx function default functions So we create, we write to the uh, adder port one, and with the value say two, and we you write to another port, and with number two. Okay, and save. Uh, okay, then it should be 32 bits. Okay, and once we complete the coding and we download the APJ bitstream we just created, and you can find the bitstream under the, uh, the folder uh, implement one. And during the download, you will see the LED turns off. And uh, in order to uh, start uh, programming and debugging, we have to create a, a, a debug section. So let's go to the debug configuration. And we we'll use uh, GDB as a debugger. Okay, let's just click debug. And now the program are uh, downloading to the, the Zinc uh, development kit. Okay, so we can uh, step over 
and from register Y to the port 1 and register 2 to the port 2. And by doing this following command, you should be able to see the LED uh, changes during uh, each command. And after uh, executing this line, you should be able to see the LED and it shows 2. The value of LED shows 2. And after you execute in this line, the LED number, the LED would show you the number of four, indicating uh, the hardware module uh, has been uh, at both input one and input two value, which is four, and showing the four the value to the LED. So, um, so if you uh, done everything properly, should you should be able to have the same result. As I am. So hopefully uh, you learned a lot and along the way. And thank you very much.